Hello and welcome. In many games you have the requirement that players do not enter certain areas. For instance, if they reach the end of your little model world. And one option to achieve this is by using so-called invisible walls. And today I would like to show you a very flexible way to create these invisible walls by using ProBuilder, a free modeling tool coming with the Unity editor. Here's an example from our game Beans or Bones. In this scene, the player should not enter the water or leave the island otherwise. The player can move around freely, but you see, as soon as they reach the shoreline, the player cannot move any further because there's an invisible wall. So this is the effect we want to achieve. And by the way, if you want to learn more about our game Beans or Bones, check out our website or follow us on TikTok, Twitter or Instagram, or simply subscribe to this channel because I will give regular updates also on YouTube. And with this, let's get going. Here we are in Unity and I've created a simple scene just with my character and a plane. And a common approach for creating invisible walls is by simply using cubes. So we create a cube and then we scale it up. Let's go into play mode. And what we've got is a visible wall that we cannot pass through. And the simple trick is now just to disable the mesh renderer. And voila, we have an invisible wall the character cannot pass through. If you have a simple geometry that requires only a few cubes, then this approach is fine. But in my case, with this kind of half moon shaped island, this approach becomes a little cumbersome. So that's why I try to use ProBuilder for this. Now, if you haven't worked with ProBuilder, go to the package manager and then you can search for ProBuilder and install it from here. Here you have ProBuilder. Then go back to the scene view, go to tools, pro builder and open the pro builder window. And then you can tuck it here to the side. What we now want to create is a new poly shape. It creates a new game object that holds all the information. And what you just have to do is now click in your scene and create your shape around your player. And then you, if you connect the last dot with the first, then the shape is created and you can extrude it. You can also set the height explicitly, for instance, to 10 units. Now our character is within this new object, but because of the walls, we can't see him. So what we can do first of all is delete the upper face here, select this face selector up here, select the top face and go to delete faces. Now we can watch inside and we see our character. So what happens if we go into play mode? Interestingly, we don't see any walls. We only see some shadows. So let's walk. And what we see is these walls don't work the way we want it. If we go back, now they work as expected that we cannot pass through the walls. Let's exit play mode. And the trick is in the inspector, we can set flip normals. What we should do is to delete the bottom face because you see these weird rendering artifacts. Delete the face. And we also have to delete the top face again. What's a little annoying, whenever you do some adjustments to your shape, it will recreate all faces. So you have to delete them again. So now if we enter play mode, we see our walls and we can walk towards them and they work as we expected. And then the last step is just to disable the mesh renderer. And that's what we wanted to achieve. We now have invisible walls in any given shape as you like. In real scenes, there's a trap you easily can fall into using ProBuilder. So let me show you the effect. This is my island and if I now look from the top and I want to create a new poly shape, then I can select the outline of my island. And it looks fine as long as I'm not going into a three-dimensional view. And what you see is now it's going downhill here. And the issue is, I'm deleting this object, the issue is that the plane is defined by the first three points. So there's a simple trick. 
create a plane that you can move around a little. So here's my plane. And now you create um, a new poly shape and you simply put the first three marks on this plane. And then you can continue with your outline and then you will see all the points are nicely arranged in one plane. And then you simply delete your helper plane and that's it. And then you have your shape and you can continue around the whole island. Let's do it quickly and then you can extrude it. And then you have your walls. Turn off the mesh renderer, flip the normals and that's it. So if you liked this little tutorial, please give us a like and see you next time.